Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to write a function to convert degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit in R. So it's very often one of the challenges we're set when we're learning programming for the first time is to write a formula that will convert Fahrenheit to Celsius or indeed Celsius to Fahrenheit to get us used to mathematical operators and precedence and how code works. But we, in our case here, we want to not only do that, but we also want to save it into a function that we can reuse. So first of all, let's take a look here on line five. I have it commented out. This is the actual formula for converting degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. So our degrees Fahrenheit is going to be equal to, and in brackets, nine divided by five, multiplied by C, that's the degrees Celsius that we're going to uh, want to convert, plus 32. So for example, if I want to convert 100 degrees Celsius, I substitute 100 into the formula and it will calculate the degrees Fahrenheit for me. So let's uh, choose a name. I'm going to choose a simple name, C to um, F for the uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit converter, assign it using the sign operator and the function, be careful there, the function is actually called function to create a function. And it's going to receive just one value. In our case here, it's going to receive a value C, uh, for centigrade or for Celsius. So I'm going to store that in the temporary, temporary variable called X, move to the end of the line, put in a pair of curly braces and press enter. And we can see that our studio here has set us up with a function um, uh, that uh, called C2F, that's the name of the function. So whatever name we give it, that's what we use to call the function. And our function, as you can see, is going to uh, generate just one value. And so that value it's going to receive is X. And here on line eight, which our studio has generated as a blank line, this is where we put the body of our function. So what I want to do here is I want to replicate the formula that I have shown in the comment on line five. So my value X that's been received in, so let's say I've received a, a degree for Celsius of 100. So I would receive that value and convert it to the corresponding value in Fahrenheit. So that would mean then X would change. So X assignment operator. Uh, replicate the formula. So I want to, in, as you can see, I have to do in brackets nine divided by divided by five first, and then I want to multiply that by the degree centigrade that has been received into the function. And we can see that that has been received and stored in a variable called x. And finally, in our formula, we see that we have to add thirty-two to that, so plus thirty-two. So just a quick recheck. My formula here is uh, uh, quickly compared to the formula on line five, and I can see uh, that it matches the uh, standard formula for converting degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. And finally in here, I want to press enter and create a new line because I want to return that value X uh, from the function so that I can display it. So our function name is called C2F. If I look in the global environment, I can see that it's empty. And so now it's time to test my function to check it for errors. So I've selected all four lines of the function and clicked on the run button and we can see that we've no errors generated in the console and also in the global environment we have a new function called c to f which receives just one value so it's now it's time to test our function so i'm going to call the function by name c to f remember this must be exactly this is the same uh, as spelling uh, open and close brackets and then pass it the value that you want to convert so I want to convert uh, degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So let's start out with body temperature. So body temperature in humans in degrees Celsius is 37. So let me run that and see what that value is in Fahrenheit. And we can see that the value in Fahrenheit is 98.6, which as we know, is the correct body temperature for normal body temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So I can also use this. So now that we know that it's working, I can use this to convert many other values. So let's convert a popular cooking value of 180 degrees Celsius. What's that in Fahrenheit? So let's run. And we can see it's exactly 356 degrees Fahrenheit in the console. We can use this to convert any degrees Celsius. So let's do a small value. So degree, uh, degrees Celsius, let's say five degrees Celsius, which is quite cold. What's that in Fahrenheit? So when we run that, uh, it's 41 degrees Fahrenheit. So experiment with these values here to uh, see how this uh, function technique works 
and you can see that we can once we have a function working we can reuse it over and over and it's also useful in a case like this to use known values to test if the function is working so I know that 37 degrees Celsius is uh, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit so once I get that value working I know that my code is working and now I can I have a function that I can use over and over again to, that saves me writing out that formula on line 8 each time I need to make a conversion so that's how you write a function to convert um, degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit I hope you found this video useful thank you for your attention